Welcome, boys and girls and parents. Uh, Mr. Lacefield or the Ergstown engineer. You can see that I came dressed ready to go today as today was our introduction to what's going wrong with our town of Ergstown. Today in class, students had to complete a Nearpod lesson. So remember, so far in science, Monday, they've already done their initial pre-test writing. Looking at the screen here, it won't show up because that was already to be turned in yesterday. However, if you are working from home, remember that video that I made, I reminded you guys have a one day grace period. So Monday's work is not due until today because you guys have that one day grace period. That means that today's work is not due until tomorrow. Again, giving you guys one day to get caught up, to watch a video, to ask questions. So you always have that. So again, today, if you've not had a chance to, you want to complete Monday's assignment. It's right here. You can see August the 22nd um, was when I had originally posted it, why the lamp won't turn on. And if you click on it, it'll show that that's it was due yesterday. Um, today's assignment is the lesson 1.1 introduction. So again, you did the why the lamp won't turn on. That's what you can work on. Um, and then today's lesson today is the Nearpod. Um, also, you can see it in classwork. If you click up here at the classwork tab, you can see unit number one. So far, we did the first part of the lesson, which was the pre-writing. That was due yesterday. And then lesson 1.1, introduction. That is currently what we did today in class, which was a Nearpod lesson. So again, just going back to my stream, if I was to click on the assignment that kids did today in class, clicking on the instructions, this one will look a little bit different because there's not a paper for kids to turn in. This one's a Nearpod lesson, which will gather their answers and information and send it to me virtually. So you won't need to click anything or turn anything in on Google Classroom. This link takes you to Nearpod and they're gonna work on the Nearpod lesson. So once you click this link, the Nearpod lesson should pop up. Students will type in their name and then as the nickname we've just told, I've just told them to put that in there and then you're gonna join the session. If you have difficulties joining the session, which is again, the activity two, remember in lesson one, activity one was the pre-writing, the pre-test. This is activity two, introducing the problem. We did activity one on Monday and now activity to do is for Tuesday. With all of that in mind, we have all of this and in the directions, you'll see that the class code is there if it does ask you for a code that's in the introduction um, description. So all you're going to do, and it should take students less than 15 minutes. I put 15 minutes on there, but it should take less than there. Students are just going to read through this activity. Okay. It's very simple and easy. And primarily besides introducing the whole unit phenomena, I'm actually also just trying to teach them a little bit about how to do Nearpod, which is a great instructional tool to help with those students who might be at home. All right, so this is known as a draw it activity. So it's gonna pose a question in orange. All students have to do is click right down here, the letter T for your text. And then that text box is gonna pop up for you to be able to type in your answer to the question. Once you get done typing in the answer to the question, let's let me draw it. There you go. So I got my text box here. Once you get done typing the answer to the question, for what it is that you see, this little button will say blue, submit, and you just click submit. And that's how you're gonna work through this activity. So you'll see the orange questions come up. So the next page comes up, new questions. I'm typing, I'm clicking there. So that way my text box comes up, clicking, typing in the answer, and then hitting submit each and every time that that's happening. There are two additional pieces besides just typing answers to questions. One of them is a board and you'll probably already see that students have kind of typed and put some answers in there. This just allows students to collab and be able to still feel like they're part of the classroom. Um, they can see what their other friends wrote. They can like their comments and their stories if they would like, and they can share their own as well. Um, so again, you would post that, then these little blue arrows you'd click and go on to the next activity. So again, another orange question. I know I'm typing the answer to this question on here and then hitting submit. We get our initial letter from the mayor 
um, of Ergstown, letting us know what the problem is and that your students will be helping us solve that problem. We have our unit question review. We have our vocabulary word, and then you're getting ready to do a fill in the blank over this definition, a person who uses science knowledge to design something in order to solve a problem. So then all students will have to do is they'll click and drag to put the answers in, and then they'll click done, and it will tell them how many out of four they got correct. So again, a person, I click, I drag, and I drop it right in there. Okay, then I would hit done, and it would say I've only gotten one out of four. So I can close it and keep doing it till I get four out of four. And I can hit the next arrow. I see that I'm at the end of my lesson. Hit the arrow again, and it lets me know that I'm all done. I could redo it if I wanted to, but again, you guys don't have to. So then that's what you're doing for today. Again, Monday, there's a video on Monday's activity. So that way it's kind of organized that way. If you want to do Monday's work, let's look at it again. So let's say I wanted to do why the lamp won't turn on and I want my student to be able to figure out what it is that we're doing for that activity. If so, in the instructions, you'll see that there's a video for help. Today's activity, which they again don't have to do until tomorrow because you guys are on a one day delay. I'm going to, this video that you're watching right now, it's going to be uploaded to Google Classroom um, in their account right here with the assignment and say video help. And then also I'll post it on Dojo as well for parents. So hopefully that helped parents. Again, as always, message me on Dojo if you guys have any questions. Hopefully these short tutorial videos are um, going to be helpful as each day you guys might need some support to figure out um, how to do the assignments. So again, let me know if you have any questions. Happy to answer them.